So on Sunday evening, Stoke City announced the arrival of new manager Alex Neil in on a three year deal. He arrived from Sunderland in quite controversial circumstances. He'd only been at Sunderland for six months, but in his time, got them from pretty much mid table, got them into those playoff places and got them up into the championship and actually had a really, really good start. His final result for Sunderland was actually the 1-0 win last week, which did spell the end to Michael O'Neill's uh, era. Alex will take charge tomorrow night against Swansea. Like I say, it's an appointment I'm really, really excited about. In fact, he's the only manager we've appointed uh, since coming down with a, a championship promotion on his CV. Obviously, Nathan Jones uh, had quite a few lower league uh, promotions. Rowett have got Derby into the upper reaches of the championship and obviously Michael O'Neill had done a fantastic job at international level. This is an appointment I, I feel good about. He does prefer to play a back four which like I said in, in the O'Neill video I'd prefer to see and obviously we saw that against Blackburn the other day and the back four just looked a lot more solid. The players that were used in that system Taylor, Fox, Flint and Wilmot just looked a lot more comfortable. In terms of Alex Neil's career at the moment he started out his managerial reigns at Hamilton Academical. Uh, then he made the move to Norwich in January 2015. Got them promoted later that year. He then made the move to Preston. Really did overachieve with Preston. Uh, and as we've seen in the last couple of years, they haven't reached the same heights as uh, they did under Neil. And then obviously most recently at Sunderland, he took over there uh, earlier on this year. Got them promoted from mid-table. Um, which was a really, really good achievement. In terms of how the moves come about, I mean, I'm not complaining. Um, I do see, you know, why Sunderland fans are annoyed. Their projects, mm, he wasn't backed in the transfer market, I'm going to be honest. Um, but, you know, this summer, let's say if his promotion uh, charge isn't successful, he will get backed by the owners uh, who have got a lot of cash behind them, whereas up in the northeast he didn't really get that. He signed on a three-year deal, which I think is the most important thing. He's had a tendency to have a 12-month rolling contract, which I think the pros and, there's pros and cons to. Pros, obviously, if it doesn't work out, you can easily uh, get rid. There is the con that if he does do well, he might get prized away by uh, a bigger fish. In three of the four jobs he's had, he has achieved promotion in his first season. Firstly at Hamilton, second at Norwich, and thirdly at Sunderland. Didn't quite achieved that at Preston but like I said earlier he did a, a, a great job there. We're only six games into the season there's 40 games left a lot of points to play for and honestly if we get some good momentum going into the World Cup or uh, and beyond I think the sky's the limit for us this season especially if the players can you know really get going under him. In terms of what I think Alex Neil will bring I think he will make us a lot more aggressive and um, that's something I've noticed against Alex Neil's sides that they are very, very nasty, snide, horrible sides, which is something, it's not pretty, but if it gets promoted, I'm easy. I think something we've struggled with in the past couple of years is we've been too polite. Um, you know, we, we don't really go in crunching tackles very often. I know it's a bit of a meme at the moment, but the whole fight and win thing, I think that rings so true in the championship. You've, you've got to rough up other sides up you've got to leave little kicks in here and there to let you you know let your opposition players know that you're there and you're not going to you know you're not going to let them run rings around you in terms of the young players i think it's a positive for them because he's got a great track record of um you know developing young players we look at what he's done at sunderland over the last few months john coates said this about the appointment of alex neil alex was number one choice to become our new manager and delighted to have secured his services so quickly his managerial pedigree is excellent with three promotions already on his CV and we are looking forward to working closely with him to help him realise the ambitions that he and the club share. Like I say, it's an appointment I'm excited about. It's going to be his first game against Swansea. If you are considering going, get yourself down there. We've got to back the boys uh, and get ourselves off to a great start. It's a fixture we've done well in, in the last couple of years. I don't want to jinx anything, but the first couple of fixtures for Alex Neil are quite kind, uh, red in a way. Um, obviously they've had a decent start. After that we've got Luton uh, and then Hull away, obviously they're flying at the moment, but I think in terms of his opening games they could have been a lot more uh, harsh. In terms of the, the names that were linked, we had Daesh, we had Wilder, 
uh, and then Alex Neal was sort of one I was a bit unsure about at the time, but then I did a little bit of research, and actually, I think he may have leapfrogged one or two in in my personal uh, shortlist. Our promotion odds were slashed uh, once Alex Neal was appointed, um, so no pressure, lads. But yeah, like I say, the sky's the limit for for Stoke under Alex Neal. And I'm just really excited to see where he takes us. Understandably, Sunderland fans are going to be gutted. But, I mean, I think this move works out for him personally as well. He's a little bit closer to his family in the North West as well. Um, and I think there's a great project to undertake here. We needed someone that was up for the challenge and could take this squad forward to, like I say, who knows where. But yeah, they're my quick thoughts on Alex Neal's appointment. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I think there's going to be a lot to learn over the next couple of weeks, which I'm really excited to see. But like I say, hopefully we can get a little bit of momentum, get ourselves up that league table, because it is ultimately the Momentum League. But uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for Swansea at home. Go on, Stoke.